So I'm joined by Andrew Lee Post. Andrew, it's great to have you here. Are you enjoying the convention so far? Yeah, I always enjoy the uh, MCM conventions. They're great. Um, but this is the first time I've done Belfast, so it's lovely to be over here. So you never, you've never been in North, Northern Ireland before, have you? I have. I have. Oh, a yeah. Shot, yeah, I shot a movie here a few years back, and I also did a play here, but uh, maybe 10 years ago. So but I haven't been back since. Because like, last year we actually had the, the pleasure of interviewing Hannah Spear. Yeah, actually, yeah. It was great, great for getting to see her. Big, I'm a big fan of Primeval. Watched Thank it, you. watched it all the time. So again, what's been the biggest convention you've been to? Is it? Would you say? Maybe, it has to be London, London for yeah. sure. Yeah, I think the last London one I did, I think there was over a hundred thousand people or something. Yeah. So I was thinking about actually going to the American one. Have you, have you ever, I've have never you, done an American one. Yeah. Yet. You, yeah. You, you plans to? Do you think you, you want? Not to? at the moment. I mean, if if the invite, I've been invited over to Florida. I think, but I couldn't make that because I was filming. I've never been invited to the San Diego one, which I think is the biggest one. Yeah. Um, that would be amazing to go to and see what that was like. Crazy, 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 crazy. <laughs> so have you had a chance to meet any of your fans yet? Oh yeah, yeah. I've met a bunch of them already. Yeah, it's been great. How are you find the feedback? Oh, lovely. They're always really really genuine really nice so I uh, you know I really like doing it for that reason I also really like doing the panels you know where you get to actually talk to them and ask questions and stuff so yeah it's great so then again have you got any weird gifts from any any of your people? any weird gifts any weird gifts because I, I know I, I have a few I know an actor guy and he was telling me he was in Game of Thrones yeah and he was getting weird gifts from people and I was just like you know you ever got that no I wouldn't say weird I've got a fair few gifts from people no I wouldn't say there's anything weird you know just normal stuff like pictures and uh, uh, a lot of birthday cards I seem to always be doing a convention near my birthday so uh, um, you know nice bottle of wine some sweets so <laughs> nothing weird nothing weird <laughs> oh, no that's good. So are you a fan, would you say, would you call, would you I got a lot yourself? of flumps one time, if you know what a flump is. What's a flump? The marshmallow oh, twirly really? things, because I like flumps. <laughs> so, and I literally got a bag full of flumps. So, that so, was, I guess, weird. I think, I think, would you consider yourself a, well, a fan of, like, comic books and stuff, or would you not, would you, well, because I was speaking to, to um, Shane Richard, and he was yeah. telling me he's a, big, he's a big nerd, well, not a nerd, but, you know, yeah. like, in like, his, in his... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say comic books, uh, per se. I don't really know enough about them, as in, like, um, I do like it. I do like graphic novels. I do like the aesthetic look of it all. Um, but I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't buy one and, and follow the story within it. Um, so I, I, I probably would say not, but I do like uh, sci-fi films for sure. I definitely like all the Avengers and all that kind of stuff. Did you get a chance to see the Avengers film? I have, I have, I literally saw it. Great film. Yeah. Have you seen any uh, cosplayers of, of the Avengers? No, I've, I've, I've just seen Thor. Yeah. <laughs> Actually got He's a, massive, actually. Yeah, I, got a, I actually got a video with them and yeah. a couple of pictures. So it's, that's me, it's great seeing these fans come together. Yeah. Because we're, in Northern Ireland, we don't really have that many conventions. This is, right. We've only really had two conventions this year, okay. which was the last MCM and the Belfast Film one. Yeah. So do you think it's important for fans to come and see, you know? Oh, for sure. Yeah, I mean, these, just obviously, this is the first one I've done over here, but seeing the ones in London and stuff and uh, Manchester, Birmingham, seen the amount of when i first started doing the conventions it was just insane to see how many people were there and just to having a place where you can go and all talk about the same stuff and be you know do the i love the cosplay i love all that jazz it really makes me smile and also i really like meeting the the, the families that come all together you know the mum the dad and the kids are all in different costumes i think that's amazing so it's, it's really a family event for people yeah but is there any cosplay that you've seen you thought that that should win top prize you've, you've seen that i've seen hellboy earlier on he not looks, he today looks i haven't i haven't seen i haven't seen that one today um but i'm a you know i i've got a, i've got a little one so i'm a big frozen fan so anything oh, frozen. from frozen it makes oh, me smile i actually have a friend who dresses up as the two, two sisters and they do the whole thing as well so they're, they're fantastic really but i'm gonna say so is there any up and coming projects that we can see you in yeah i at the moment i am directing and starring in a, a web series called wireless oh. uh the website is www.wirelessweb.london um it's uh if you like knight rider you'll probably like it yeah. So it's kind of a re, I wouldn't say a revamp, but it's kind of a twist on that sort of theme. It's about a, a disgraced cop who gets partnered with an AI cop who happens to be his car. <laughs> so how do you find going from acting to directing? Do you think it's a, it's a good step or what do you think? I've, I've directed since 2006 now, so I've done it a while. I've made a fair, uh, made a fair few uh, short films. In fact, uh, my last short film, Photo Finish, won the Reed uh, Top Grand Prize uh, at BAFTA two weeks ago, um, which is great. Yeah, it's great, yeah. fantastic. Um, but I, 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 love, I love doing both. I really genuinely love doing both. Uh, there's some music videos which are also uh, challenging but fun. 
So I suppose uh, the last sort of thing I would like to ask you is, is there any hot tips for actors? I have a lot of actor friends and they're really interested in acting, but some of them, there's one of my friends, he's, he's thinking about giving up. Would you give him any advice for him? Don't give up. Yeah. I think I think that's probably the biggest bit of advice that any actor would say. You know, if you do, you've got to be in it to win it, haven't you? So, um, and you do learn. You know, when I when I started, I've acted since I was seven. I'm 35 now, um, and I was terrible. I was absolutely terrible. But I learned on the job. You know, you watch yourself and stuff. Um, but yeah, I, um, be open, be open-minded, and also I. I think be true to yourself. I think I know it sounds a bit cheesy, but it is true. I think I think the most success I've had career-wise is when I've stood out from the crowd, as it yeah. were, you know, and um, and I embraced what I was as a person and, and was able to bring that to the screen in some sort of capacity. And I think that that really genuinely helped me. So uh, always have a sense of humour. You need one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's great. But Andrew, it was great to have you on. Wicked. Thank you very much, Thank you.